there's no there's no real incentive for us to do anything unless we have that kind of higher purpose or like sort of mm. big big thing that pulls you big goal otherwise it's it's all very arbitrary and that's that's why i love these kind of shonen anime because i think they're they offer a, an opportunity for especially young men to connect to that sense of higher purpose Dude. <laughs> anime was my like that's where i learned all my initial personal development like dragon ball z just like how goku was treated i was like that's how i should probably be when i grow up yeah. you know like i'm watching this as a little kid running around like putting my head out the window just because I, I i was like i'm gonna fly when i'm older so i, I gotta make sure that i'm used to the wind it's freaking like bugs going in my freaking eyes. Like that. You know, I want to talk. About, I want to talk about this as well again because I, yeah. I I I mentioned this to Ian, but I think it's such yeah. a cool point. And I flying and putting your, by your putting your head out the window and like getting yeah. eyes. In. No, no, no. Uh, uh, in reference to the to the shonen anime. Yeah. So you know One Piece, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Luffy, um, the main character of One Piece, is a great study in regret mm. because he doesn't have any. Why doesn't he have any? Because he's a character that's so bullheaded and so stupid in some ways, like he's just so monotrack. Yeah. That even for even for one single moment, living out of alignment with his values just drives him up the wall. He's crazy. He can't do it. He would rather he would rather die than live for a single moment outside of alignment with his highest values. Mm. And as and and as soon as he does find himself in a situation where other people are pushing the boundaries of those values mm. or it, they're on the line in some way, he's, he's going to fight to the death to, to, to write that situation and he won't rest until he does. Mm. Um, and so his character is sort of an extreme, an extreme thought experiment in that way of what it would be like to be a person who's just all hundred percent go toward their highest values It's basically just like, wake up, go, something is out of alignment, fix it right away. Um, eat, 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 fall asleep, wake up, do it again, eat, 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 like mm. an animal, fall asleep, go, wake up, do it again. As soon as something's out of alignment, boom, right back in the middle. Mm. Um, it's fascinating. You know, he doesn't even remember names. He doesn't even remember names that are not in alignment. He's just what so he's, on his he's, purpose. He's just like, he's yeah. just like I'm, uh, what's your name again? Oh, yeah, spiky hair, dude. Right. Is that, would you say that's a good thing or a bad thing to be <laughs> too much on your purpose? I mean, he's also a thought experiment of the consequences of being too far in that direction as yeah. well. Because I mean, you end up kind of a, the, you know, also kind of the village idiot, you know. Yeah. And, and you could see how quickly, unless you have like, just the, just such abundance and strength like Luffy does, chances are you can't take that approach. Like yeah. you're just gonna you're just gonna end up so injured or dead that you know. <laughs> there's no coming back see i think like the ideal anime dude would be like naruto like he was dope you know He's, that's a little bit more of a balanced character yeah for sure. I, like yeah. if i was ever gonna like star in one of those or whatever or have someone that i want to base myself around and be like either him or goku from dragon ball z 100 yeah sure well goku is just a lot like luffy in that he doesn't have he doesn't have another gear it's just all go 100 percent. that's why he like the nimbus cloud allows him to <laughs> jump up <laughs> Yeah. Dude, I talk about this shit for fucking days, but everyone that's listening is like, oh, I didn't watch Rango Balls. I was like, you should fucking watch it. Don't yeah. listen to any more podcasts. Don't read any books unless you've seen every single episode from Dragon Ball all the way to Dragon Ball Super. So if you, yeah, if you haven't, <laughs> if, yeah, for, for those of you who haven't seen those anime, it makes you a bad person. And You're a horrible person. You should hate yourself. Yeah, you'll never, you'll never do it. Buy some caves from Devin. <laughs> Buy caves. Buy caves from Devin. Um, Yes, with caves with salt crystals and yeah, uh, some yoni eggs that you could put up your Shoni vagina. Egg.